Cassie, a married woman, visits a library one day and develops feelings for a boy. To be with him, she deceives her husband on a daily basis. They frequently meet at his house and enjoy each other's company. The story begins with Cassie, who encounters a boy by accident during a windy day. After exchanging apologies, they strike up a conversation. The boy, Paul, offers Cassie shelter at his place until the storm subsides. Intrigued, Cassie agrees and discovers that Paul is a successful writer who has published numerous remarkable stories. While Cassie reads a book, Paul becomes fixated on her legs, which makes her uncomfortable. When the storm finally passes, Cassie returns home and spends the entire night with her husband, engaging in romance. The next morning, she can't stop thinking about Paul and impulsively calls him. They chat for a while, and he invites her to his home again. Eager to see him, Cassie hurries to his place. As they converse, Paul attempts to hold her hand, but Cassie, being married, rejects his advances. Feeling uncomfortable, she leaves his house. While doing dishes at home, she reflects on her time spent with Paul and realizes that she has developed feelings for him. However, she fears the consequences if her husband finds out. Despite her reservations, she decides to meet Paul the following day. Unexpectedly, Chris, her husband, finds Cassie's dress in his room, suspecting that she is meeting someone without informing him. Concerned, he questions her, and she hastily claims to have a doctor's appointment. Doubting her explanation, Chris privately contacts the doctor, who denies any scheduled appointment. Realizing that Cassie is lying, Chris concludes that she is seeing someone behind his back. On her way to meet Paul, Cassie coincidentally encounters old friends who are thrilled to see her. They invite her to a coffee shop, and though reluctant, Cassie reluctantly agrees. She quickly informs Paul that she won't be able to visit him, using her friends as an excuse. Meanwhile, Paul surprises Cassie by showing up at the coffee shop. Delighted, Cassie smiles at him, but when Paul goes to the restroom, she follows him, feigning an excuse to her friends. They share a passionate moment and engage in a romantic encounter. Afterward, Cassie rejoins her friends. Chris, suspecting his wife's infidelity, hires a detective to monitor Cassie's actions, including her whereabouts and interactions. Upon his return, Chris confronts Cassie about her behavior, informing her of his upcoming trip. Cassie finds solace in the fact that she can freely spend time with Paul. In plain sight, they continue their relationship while the detective discreetly captures their moments through photographs. Days later, when Chris comes back, the detective provides him with evidence of Cassie's affair. Devastated, Chris visits Paul's house, where he realizes that Cassie is not present. Intrigued by a familiar object, he questions Paul about it. Paul reveals that it was a gift from Cassie. Enraged, Chris impulsively attacks Paul with the same object, unintentionally causing his death. Panicked, Chris removes his fingerprints from the scene and disposes of Paul's body in a garbage bin outside the city. Several days later, the police approach Cassie, investigating Paul's disappearance. They inquire about her connection to him since her phone number was found in his phone records. Cassie feigns ignorance, pretending to be unaware of Paul's whereabouts. Unsatisfied, the police conduct a thorough search and eventually discover Paul's lifeless body. Returning to Cassie's home, they question her again. Although Cassie had frequently visited Paul's house, she insists it was solely for purchasing books. The police lack evidence against her and depart. One day, while Cassie is dropping off her husband's coat at a dry cleaning shop, she finds incriminating photos of herself and Paul hidden in the pocket. These were the same photos the detective had given to Chris. Realizing her husband is aware of her affair and suspecting his involvement in Paul's death, Cassie confronts Chris. Tearfully, she implores him to confess his actions, believing he was responsible for Paul's demise. Chris reluctantly admits to killing Paul, fueled by betrayal and anger. Devastated by the truth, Cassie and Chris reconcile, understanding that they both committed grave mistakes.